Hello there everyone and welcome back to our virtual science classroom. This is your teacher da teacher Darrell Del Mundo and we will proceed to our quarter two week number three. And today, before anything else, I just want to thank you for that prayer this morning. So now we can proceed to our attendance. Secretary, do not forget to check the attendance of how many boys and how many girls do we have. Later on, you will send it to me. Okay? And quarter two, week number three is all about levels of organization or biological levels of organization. So in this module, we are going to tackle about these different levels as you can see. Okay? And specifically, the supplementary learning material will help us to describe different levels of biological organization from cell to biosphere. Specifically, this module will help us to learn about number one, different levels of organization, two, parts and functions of the levels of organization, lesson number three, things to remember, especially terminologies that we need to be aware of. Okay? And for our looking back or a short review on what we have tackled last time, so the direction is to how the following organisms are similar with each other. Accomplish the POE table below. POE means predict, observe, and explain. So meaning to say, what can you predict or what can you observe and explain about this figure one? Figure one is all about calamansi plant. So kung nakita ka na ng halaman, ng calamansi or puno ng calamansi, uh, anong masasabi mo dito? Okay? as a plant and then meron naman tayo rito yung second picture natin is a dog bilang aso di ba nakikita niyo sa picture what can you predict and observe and explain about it and then figure number three these are children filipino children so what can you say about the picture so when we are talking about predict common characteristics what you can see outside okay and then observe examples of organisms you can give examples pa. Magbigay pa kayo ng mga halimbawa. And explain brief discussion on how and what processes and the concept they are common with. Ano yung makikita nyo yung pagkakaparehas nila. Okay? So, do not forget to answer this looking back. And then, for lesson number one, we will tackle the different levels of organization or biological levels of organization. Are you ready? Okay, let's proceed. So, as a brief introduction, you can see here different animals, different plants, and of course, human being, Dada is dancing. So, animals and us, humans, have their definite characteristics as consumers. Plants and some microorganisms are considered producers and also possess definite characteristics. But for something to be considered living or alive, these living things, or we should say organisms, share several common characteristics. Meaning to say, meron tayong mga characteristics or mga katangian para masabi that we are living things. Ano yung mga katangian na to that plants, animals, and humans have? Okay? In common. So, a thing to be considered as a living thing, it should be number one it can respond to their environment. Number two, it can grow and change. Number three, reproduce and have offspring. Number four, has a complex body processes, example, digestion. Number five, maintain internal body stability or homeostasis. Number six, pass their traits onto their offspring. And number seven, they are made up of cells that's very important so multicellular living things or organisms like us are made of cells so you and i the plants that you see and the animals that you see are made up of cells not just one but millions billions and trillions of cells and follow the biological organization of life in this module you will describe the different levels of biological organization and how are they arranged in a sequence okay and how do they work together as a team 
Okay, let's proceed. So, uh, these are the biological levels of organization. As you can see, as part of our introduction, it is from the very tiny, okay, thin, tiny, tiny, tiny material called cell, then on the way to tissues, on the way to organs, organ systems, organisms, populations, communities, ecosystem, and then biosphere, which is the largest part of the organizational or the biological organization. Okay, so biological levels of organization starts from the simplest form, which is the cell, to the very and the most complex from which is that we know biosphere. Okay, biosphere, this is the living part of the earth. Okay. So here is the sequence of the organization. Cells, group of cells, tissues, group of tissues, organs, group of organs, organ systems, group of organ systems, organisms, that's us, plants and animals. Group of organisms can form populations, group of populations can form communities, group of communities can form the ecosystem, Okay, or the different habitats or biomes and then different composition of ecosystem can form the biosphere. So do not forget the sequence. So this is the correct sequence of biological level of organizations. Okay, so before anything else, you will see different characters here. Okay, because I will tell you a story regarding this topic. So I want you to meet biosphere. I want you to meet ecosystem. I want you to meet community. I want you to meet population, organism, organ system, organ and tissues. And the last one is cell. So they are the characters of the story, levels of organization by Sir Salonga. So, for lesson number two, we will tackle the parts and functions of the level of organizations through a story. Okay? So, they are the characters of the story that we are going to discuss for today. So, if you want to hear it now, the title of the story, Who's the Boss? Maybe you are also questioning yourself right now. So, the title is all about Who's the Boss? Let's start. Once upon a time, in the kingdom of spectrum of life, there were different levels of organizations. One morning, the organizations were having arguments, commotions, and fight because they do not understand each other. They underestimate others' functions and never listen to the point of view held by others. Until the vice peer shout, Quiet! Everybody stop! From now on, I will be the boss. I am the biggest, so all of you must follow my command. And then, it said, No way! said the ecosystem. I must be the boss because I have the components of life, both living and the non-living components and the interactions happen within me. You, as the boss, that should not be. I am composed of different species of organisms living and functioning together. At the same time, I can manage a habitat. Therefore, I am the boss, insisted by the community. Then, oh, come on, any of you will never be the boss because it is me who is the only qualified to that position. I am population. In the group of organisms of the same species living together harmoniously, I rule the entire group and its system. So, I should be the boss. The organism together with its organ systems, organs and tissues talked. Who will be the leader of this kingdom? Definitely, we are. We regulate and manage all activities and processes, and everything is within our control. 
all of you will never be active without us working together. In that case, we will lead the entire kingdom. We are the boss. Out of nowhere, the cell said, Excuse me, can I be the boss? Mm -hmm. Everybody left. <laughs> are you kidding? You, the little one, is the boss. What kind of leadership you will have? Questioned by the biosphere. Little structure and simple faction. What else can you do? You are just a small part of this kingdom. Wake up! You are dreaming, said the ecosystem and the community. The cell was very much displeased and discouraged. He really felt bad and restless. Until the next day, the cell did not function. What's happening to us? Said the organism, the organ systems, organs, and tissues. The community said, I'm getting tired and sick. Tell me what's going on. Can somebody explain what seems to be the problem? Said the population. We are all going to die, replied by the ecosystem. It's the cell. He is the reason why we are experiencing all of this. Without him, we will be useless. We need the cell to function. Let's talk to him, said the biosphere. Everybody said, We are all really sorry, Cell, for underestimating your function. Now we realize that each one of us is important, so we decided to follow you as our boss. So they were all gathered together saying sorry to the Cell. Are you sure I will be the boss? Thank you anyway for appreciation, but let me say this, no matter how small or big you are, no matter how simple and complex your function will be, each of us is equally important. So we are all the leaders, the boss in our own different ways. We will function together and be the best that we can be to maintain the sequence and pattern in the levels of biological organization of life by Mr. Irvin Salonga. So, since you know the story about who's the boss, we already know the different levels of organization and their specific functions. And now, we will go to lesson number three, which is all the things that we need to remember about this topic. So, there are some terminologies that you need to be learned and to memorize. Okay, let's proceed. So, terminologies to ponder. Number one, biological. Biological is a connection with the natural processes of living things. Biotic means living things in the ecosystem that includes animals, plants, and others alike. Level, relative position or rank on scale. Species, a group of similar organisms that can mate and produce fertile offspring. Abiotic, which means non-living things in the ecosystem such as soil, water, rocks, and sun. Organization, an arrangement of parts for the performance of the functions necessary to life. Biomes, ecosystems greatly affected by climate. And these are the analogy of organization. So a while ago, I told you, like this part are the different terminologies that you need to remember as you go on. Kasi mamaya, right after this one, when you answer your module, you will see these terminologies and you will answer it by these terms. Okay? So, as an analogy of the levels of organization, we have here the pyramid of the biological levels of organization. So, as you can see, as you go up to the peak of the pyramid, the larger and the more complex the biosphere is when it comes to its function. And then, when you go down to the pyramid, a smaller and simpler function and structure you can observe. 
which is the cell. But it has the biggest part of them all. That's why it is broader than the biosphere. It doesn't mean that the biosphere has lesser importance. But what am I trying to say is that the cell, the basic structural and functional unit of life. Okay? So, for you to you answer the following, remember to watch the video or to review, rewatch, answer all the questions in your modules in your Google Classroom. If you have your notebook or if you have your printed modules, do it, then take a picture of it. So lesson number one, do not forget to answer pretest. That's page number three. Then page number six, including the looking back or the review. For lesson number two, pages six to nine. For lesson number three, pages 10 to 12 and the post test page 11. So these are all the things that you need to answer again and again and again answers only so if you do not have any questions or reactions you can reach me through my social media accounts my youtube you can comment there and in my instagram and my facebook account and my page especially to our group chat okay so we can now say that this is the end of our quarter to week number three so thank you so much i hope you learned something about the biological levels of organizations have a nice day and god bless you all bye everyone